everyone. So I know I am super, super late on this, but this is going to be, believe it or not, my June favorites video, even though it's July 14th. So I'm kind of 14 days late on this. Sorry. But yeah. Um, so let's just get started because I do have a lot, as always. I really like to pile it all in for you guys because I know you guys love these kinds of videos. So in no particular order, I like them all equally. I will just start with this. And something exploded in my bag with all my favorites in it because it's kind of dusty. I don't really want to know what, but I guess we'll have to find that out later. Anyway, first of all is my Clinique High Impact Mascara. Um, I brought this on both of my trips to San Antonio and to Virginia and DC and all that. And this mascara is amazing. And also another mascara that I really, really like. Oh, first let me show you the wand. It looks like that. Just kind of like a wand that's like goes a little bit inward and then out. There's like a little bit of a indent right there. But I find it really coats my lashes like really well and it gives it a nice curl. And um, again, I'm going to be making a mascara favorites video like I did with my blushes and stuff. So that'll be coming up and I'll give some tips and tricks for mascaras and stuff. Another mascara that I really like is Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. I'm wearing that today and if you can see it gives me a really nice curl. I really like this and the brush is you know ginormous. It's colossal so I really like that. Next is my MAC Mineralized Satin Skin Finish Natural in Medium. The um, little I almost said hump. <laughs> the little um, dome is slowly like disappearing. I really like this. It has really good coverage for summer and it doesn't feel cakey on me at all. Another thing that I am absolutely in love with is this Sephora palette. I'm wearing it today and there will be a tutorial on this because I really, really like it. I used today this on the lid and that in the crease and they are so pigmented. Look how beautiful. I love that and I wore it to work today and that is my highlight um, so I wore that to work today at the hospital and you have to wear neutral stuff obviously um, so I wore this today I actually just got back from working so I'm in like all black and stuff and you know hot pink <laughs> but um so I really like this palette very pigmented and yeah I really like it hopefully they make one of those palettes where you can buy it you don't have to have 500 points in your bank but I really don't know Another thing are these two shadows that I really like. First is Shroom. Just a beautiful standard highlight color basically. I like using this as my lid color most of the time though. It's right on the top. But the one eyeshadow that I absolutely love using that shadow with is... Oh, sheesh! Oh my god. Hey. Um, okay, anyway, soft brown. I used this the whole vacation, soft brown in this room, and I loved it. Perfect, really neutral eye. It's It kind of looks a little bit orangey on me, which I like. So it kind of looks a little bit tropical, and I really, really like that, and I've gotten compliments on that look a lot. Another eyeshadow that is probably one of my favorite highlights at the moment is Wet n Wild's eyeshadow in 251 Cream. Just another standard highlight color that everyone should have in their collection. It cost me $1.99. So pretty cheap compared to like 15 buck MAC eyeshadows and I think it's about the same size. So really good stuff. Another thing is a blush product, which is my Cargo Blush in Tonga. I talked about this in my blush favorites, but I did not have it at the moment. When you look at that color, it doesn't look that pretty, but when you put it on, it gives you the best glow. I love it. Look at that. And these are super pigmented. So pigmented. Look at that beautiful rosy color. It looks great on my skin tone. It just makes my face glow. I love it. Another favorite of mine is my NARS Cream Blush in Penny Lane, which I also forgot to show you my favorite blush video. It's getting a little nasty in there, but still gives off that perfect color, so I don't really care how it... Ooh! There's a swatch. And um, I don't really care how it looks in there, because it looks really pretty on, so... Love that! 
Another thing is a nail polish. I haven't tried this on yet, but this color. I was in the nail salon, and um, the lady, this lady, she was older. She was getting her nails done with this color. And I was like, oh my god, I love that color. She's like, oh, really? It's OPI's. You're a piece of work. And I was like, oh my god, look at that color, guys. Look at that. That's like a strawberry mixed margarita. I love that color. Love that. That will be on my nails by this weekend, I assure you. I don't have time to paint them right now, but I assure you by Saturday, this will be painted on my nails. Another face product is my Benefit Coralista Blush. I use this a lot. I use that a lot um, on my trips because it gave me a really pretty corally summer-like look on my cheeks. I really like that. Check my time. Okay. Um, next is a brush. This is the 227 brush from MAC. I believe this came out with a special collection. I forget what. I think it might be limited edition. Not sure. But if you can get your hands on it, I suggest it. It's just perfect for highlighting. It just goes right under your eyebrow. And it just looks, it just makes every highlight eyeshadow just look great. I love that brush. The next two things are pencils for your eyes. Um, I actually used these two today on my look today. Again, I will do a tutorial on it. I put Beijing all over the lid, and then I put Beijing Sage Stick from MAC, one of my favorites, and Maybelline Cooling Effect Shadow Liner in On the Rocks, number 37, on the outer corner a little bit. So then I mix the On the Rocks right on top of the Beijing, and then I put the Sephora eyeshadows on top of that so it would last and it would be more bright. I will show you how I did that in a video coming up soon, so don't worry if you don't understand what I'm saying. But what I want you to understand is that these are really good items, so I really like that. And the last eye product is my MAC Penultimate Rapid Black Eyeliner. This came out with the Cool Heat, no, 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 not Cool Heat, <laughs> Chill Collection. And um, I think it's still available, it's permanent. It's just a felt tip applicator eyeliner. I wore it today, it's all smudged because of work, I was like this and stuff, you know, have it. But the good thing about this is it doesn't smudge that much once you're done putting it on. So even though I did go like this and this and this, it does not look as bad as it would normally look if I was using my Wet n Wild liner or any NYC or Hip eyeliner. This is really good and it's just a solid black. Classic. And that's really good for you MAC collectors. This is a really good item to have. Also, the next are lip products. This is my favorite MAC lipstick, and I forgot to show you guys this in my MAC lipstick collection. I found this in one of my purses, and I was overjoyed. The Monogram Lipstick in Marque. First of all, love the packaging. Way different than any other MAC package for lipstick tubes. That color, I love. It's just... It's my Viva Glam 5. That's the best way to say it. Everyone loves Viva Glam 5. I personally don't, so this is my Viva Glam 5 to say it. I just love this lip, like, lip color so much. It's just a beautiful nude pink, and I just love it. And they do not sell it anymore, and I had a backup of it, but of course I lost it. So I gotta find that, like I found this one. Hopefully it'll be near the purse that I found that one in, but I don't know... Okay, another MAC lip product is this lipstick that I got in faux. Okay, as I drop the cap. Anyway, I'm back. Hey, um, faux. It's a satin, but um, I usually don't like satins because I think they're too pigmented and they're too bright. But this one is neutral, so I like that it's pigmented because it really looks good on my lips. I love that. Do a swatch really quick. It's right there. And the lip gloss that I love putting on top of it, my mom gave me. I told you I'm not a big fan of the Buxom Lips, but she gave me a miniature of the Buxom Lips in Claire. And it looks really pretty on top of faux. So I suggest that. It has a brush applicator, and I'll put it on top right now. See how beautiful? I love that. Then, let me check my time again. Oh, I gotta go. Then... I, all my chapsticks are like gone. I don't know where they all went, so I've been resorting to chapstick lip balm. If you have any favorite lip balms, let me know. And then, um, Sally Hansen Comfort Shine Lip Glaze in Fresh Mixed Berry. I love this. Talked about it in a haul video. A review is coming up. So those are my June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day. Ciao!